Hey people, welcome to Alt Phone Channel. What can be more annoying than your phone's user interface stop responding time to time? And even after getting your device back to normal by restarting it, you still see the error that says, unfortunately system UI has stopped. Well, one such error is recently pestering Samsung users. So, if you have a Samsung device and are facing a similar problem, you're at the right place. Because in this video, we will show you various solutions to solve this issue and make your device work normally once again. Let's begin with our first method. Method 1. Clear Cache. Android can build up large caches based on usage. It is advisable to clear cache more often than not to keep your device free of glitches. And to clear the cache partition on your Samsung, switch off your phone first, and then hold down the volume up button and the power button together. If your Android has a Bixby or home button, then you must hold that down as well. In case this didn't help in getting into recovery mode, take a USB cable and connect your Android device to your computer. Then try again, holding down the buttons for a few seconds until you feel a vibration, and the Android logo appears on your device screen. Soon, the recovery menu will appear on your device. Use the volume up and the volume down button to navigate, and when the clear cache partition is highlighted, select it by pressing the power button. Confirm your action and reboot your device by the reboot system now option. Method 2. Keep Android OS up to date. When you're having a problem with your phone, install any available update and make sure your operating system is up to date. For that, go to device settings and select software update from the options. Tap on the download and install and see if there is any system update available. Method 3. Uninstall Google Updates on Android. If you have recently updated your Google app and the error keeps popping up at regular intervals, make sure you uninstall Google app updates as soon as possible. Open the Play Store app on your Samsung and tap on the profile icon. Select the Manage Apps and Device option from the list and hit on See Recent Updates. Now tap on the Google app you most recently updated and hit uninstall, followed by confirming your action. Now to prevent the error to occur in the future, do not forget to change your Google Play Store settings to do not auto-update apps later. Method 4. Factory Reset. When nothing works, you can try resetting your device which will return your Android phone to its factory settings. Go to Settings. Tap on General Management and hit on Reset. After hitting the factory data reset, this will delete all the data on your device, so make sure you have a backup before you proceed further. Method 5. Use Alt Phone Android System Repair. After using all the methods earlier, if your Samsung UI still doesn't respond, you can use Alt Phone Android System Repair to solve the issue without losing any data. This software aims to solve more than 50 Android system issues effectively, including Samsung UI not responding. Now to make use of this tool, first download the software from Alt Phone's official website by hitting on the download button. And installing it. After the installation is done, launch it over your PC. And now you're at the main interface of Alt Phone Android System Repair. As you can see, this tool offers you many features including, one click to enter recovery mode, as well as once click to clear system cache. Select the Repair Android System function from the options given and click on the Repair Now to continue. On the next screen, you need to select the correct information about the Samsung device you are using. Hit next and the program will then start downloading the firmware package suitable for your device. After a little while, the firmware package will be downloaded successfully, and you can then click on the repair now button to proceed. Next, you will be asked to put your device into download mode. Put it by following the instructions shown on the program screen. Or you can make use of the enter download mode feature of this tool, a one-click way to put your device in download mode. 
Once the software detects your device in download mode, it will start the repairing process automatically. And that's it. After the repair process will be completed successfully, your Samsung device will reboot to normal and you can start using your phone like before. Well, that's all for today. If you found this video helpful, do like, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.